Is this definitely the place Inspector Hastings asked us to meet him, Ernest? Yes, miss. Even from the late layman's uh, reserve bank, he said. Well, it doesn't appear to be open yet. I wonder what the inspector wants. Maybe it's some problem with the bank. I don't trust banks. Apart from Barclays. It's all in the name. Well, he didn't mention anything like that. He just telephoned the agency and asked us to meet him here. Uh, that was all. He's always doing this. That man never gets to the point. Well, anyway, it's a pretty impressive building, isn't it? Yes, it's amazing to think that just ten years ago, no one had ever heard of Layman's Reserved Bank. Well, this building doesn't look new. I expect the bank uh, bought it from somebody else. That's why it's very important for a bank to betray the right image, you see, Cheryl. In its name, its logo, and its office buildings. And most importantly, screwing up their customers. Barclays just has a kennel as its uh, logo. I like it. Oh, there's Inspector Hastings now. Coming up from inside the bank. Yes, and he looks troubled. I smell a case in the making. I wonder what's it going to be. <laughs> oh, there you are, cat. Thanks for coming. Good morning, Inspector. You have a new case for me, I take it? Spot on. In fact, you would ask for personally. You mean somebody else asked for me to investigate, not you? Spot on again. Your little agency's getting quite a name for itself now. Uh, I said I'd get in touch with you on the gentleman's behalf. Uh, I felt quite pleased with myself as it happens. Well, I'm glad the agency is becoming... I'm more widely known, but I'm not sure what that has to do with you, Inspector. Well, I'm the one who cottoned on uh, to your great puzzle-solving abilities, am I? Uh, it takes a keen eye to spot a good investigator, Cat. He knows how to blow his own trumpet. Explains the big nose. Well, it's jolly good news that the agency is getting the recognition it deserves, don't you think? It's a tribute to your wonderful uh, detective skills, Miss Layton. Blimey! Listen to me gassing! Come on! We better go in! The gentleman in question has specifically requested we keep this investigation hush hush. Mum's the word, alright? Yes, Mum. Well, let's go in uh, so we can find out what it is all about then. Woo! We're just gonna be going inside a bank? I don't trust this man. This man is not trustworthy. Right. Cute little thing. Found a hint coin. That's always good for us. There must be a bit of breeze today. That uh, long banner with the bank logo on it is swaying gently. Look. Ah, now there's an idea. A banner with the latent detective agency logo. Hanging from the eaves of the office building. Hmm. If we were up uh, close to that thing. It would look enormous, I, I should think. That is true. These are actually like far bigger than you than you realize. It's kind of insane. What? What? Okay. Weird. Nothing there? Anything here? No. We'll probably go in that little way. I say, it's a jolly grand building, isn't it? Very striking, just like a bank ought to be. It manages to look historic, yet not old. Somehow it's a very beautiful design. It's impressive, sure, but not a patch of Barclays. Yeah, they do have a bark going on. Why is there a missing thing here? I wonder if that has something to do with later on. Waha! That's good. Getting all me hint coins. What are you doing here, Director Man? Oh, Miss Tory! I didn't know you banked here. Oh, a little bit, Layton. I don't know where I'm at. To be honest, may I have uh, sent me this puzzle? I just can't solve it. Really, Mr. Uh, Rector sets uh, puzzles? Sometimes, yes. Uh, you couldn't help me solve it, could you? Yeah, let me uh, show it to you. Oh, 
goody a puzzle. Who would have guessed? In this game? The money of color. How dare you bring your British nonsense. They're trying to make our kids British. This will not stand. Oh, we need guns. In case King of England shows up, just starts messing with us. Now, will you have a gun? Defend yourself. There's a wall with 12 sections that need to be painted, just like the one in the picture. Red around the outside edge uh, on the left, blue around the outside edge on the right, and purple in the center. A lot of paint for one section costs uh, 10 a pound. For red, 10 pound for blue, and 30 for purple. How much is the paint going to cost? Try to figure out the minimum uh, possible price. For one section? Uh, the two purples are actually going to be 20. So, this is 40 over the 60 that it could be. So, we got 10. Uh, that's 5 here. And then 5 over here. Uh, so that's 140. Is an interesting one. No, it's <laughs> not a hundred and forty. What is it then? You buy pots of paint to match the color shown in the picture. It will cost one hundred and sixty. Uh, try to figure out a frugal way to do this. No, it won't. It won't cost one hundred sixty. Because we could just buy two more paints of the blue and the red and mix them together. Is this some sort of non-doing thing? And purple in the center. A pot of paint for one section costs 10 pound. For red, 10 pound for blue. 30 for purple. We do not need to use purple whatsoever. We could just do 20 uh, for each of these. Get these two. So, this is 40. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's a hundred a hundred and forty so it need to be painted just like the one in the picture a pot of paint for one how much is paint going to cost try to figure out the minimum possible price it should be 140 is it 120 maybe 120 We'll try 120. Because I, I don't really see how that works. Parse. But sure. I was I was on the right track. You did it! Uh, six red pots and six blue pots gives a total cost of 120. Mixing one pot of red paint with one pot of blue paint gives two pots a worth of purple paint. I didn't realize that. I didn't realize that you could just have I, f I forgot the the quantity amount of mixing the two, and that's where I fumbled. Oh, there, that's how it's done. Is that a help, Mr. Tori? Brilliant. You made that look so easy. I suppose you detectives are praying for puzzle solving. I'll bear you in mind next time I'm stuck. And who are you? You're new, my dude. <laughs> is it a private joke or is something you could share? Ugh. You, you scared me. Anyway, it's nothing. Don't worry about it. I'm not worried, but I am sort of curious. Don't tell me he's the bad guy. The sign on the door says it's closed, but I saw a woman inside before. In other words, it's closed, open bracket, unless we like you and want to let you in, close bracket. Banks. He has the right attitude about Banks, I'm gonna be real. It's the main entrance, uh, no customer queuing up uh, yet though, eh? Everything's gleaming, isn't it? The cast, uh, glass doors and the metal sign. 
Presumably there's a security guard posted here uh, during opening hours. Yes, there is. Is that all, all she takes? That's all she wrote? Is that all the bank that she got? Nope. Yeah, let's go. Let's, let's move into bank, man. See what his bank plan is. Gosh, it feels deserted in here without any customers, doesn't it? Oh, there's a woman over there, uh, though. Look! Yeah, she's not a customer. That's the general manager of the bank. The general manager? She's very important, then. They said it, Sunshine. The layman's uh, reserve bank and branches all over the country. Each one has a branch manager, and that lady is the manager of all the, those managers. The gentleman who asked for this investigation said she'd fill us in on the details. Alright then, let's get this filled in. Oh. She looked like she served it bad, you feel me? She served it kind of bad. Like, like, not in a good way, in a, like, we're doing this whether you like it or not way. Like, you have to eat all your dinner. And your peas, you feel me? A pen on every desk. People visiting the bank uh, could use these desks to write on uh, if they need to. Mucky puppies. Uh, they should write on paper, not the desk. Oh, look, there's a puzzle with a pen on this one. Like, does, does Cheryl not No. We usually have, like, checks or something. Pencil box. Eat these. In this picture, a square is, is colored in if it has lines drawn around it. Can you make it so that four or more squares are colored in? If you select a pencil, uh, the pencil will disappear and a line will appear in its place. The line is drawn the in the direction uh, the pencil was facing. Select the pencils in order to draw the necessary lines. Uh, oh, we have to do it that way? Do we? Okay. Let's go here? I don't... Oh, now we could go this way. Are we trying to get rid of every single pencil? I think that might be the case. In passant. Okay. Um. In passant. Here. So we just get it and then we have one. It's not. So what if we go here? Uh so only go this way. And facade. So we can't do it that way. Hmm. And then we go down. Uh my big problem with this is that I generally do not know what it's trying to make me do. Hmm. Are we just trying to get them all? I think that's what we're doing. Here, here, here. Here. Hmm. Hmm. Honestly, a little bit confusing in terms of things. Oh, so we were just supposed to get four. Something you have to chew over. 
Okay, I thought we had to get them all, and I'm just like, oh god, how am I gonna do this? You did it! You boxed off those squares nicely. But the whole lot ended up uh, being colored in the end. Then what was the point? That was jolly, uh, spiffing, uh, Cheryl. You've obviously been taking notes from Miss Layton. Well, you know, pinstripes. I might have lost my memory, but I haven't lost my mind. Uh, sure, my dude. Whatever that is. That's the reception desk where customers have to uh, go and find where they uh, come in here. This is reminding me of something, actually. I feel like I need to visit the bank for something. Miss Layton, while we're on the subject of banks, you did make the payment for the office rent, didn't you? Oh no. Oh dear. Our, our girl's a little bit flaky. By a little bit, she probably has not paid rent at all. I feel like uh, the regular professor has been helping that situation out. I would I would think that she's probably like a daddy's girl, honestly. Not to a big degree, just like to enough degree. You know, we're like, she loves her dad. The interior of the building is uh, every bit as imposing as the exterior. All this stonework and marble, very impressive. Are we still outside? The ceiling's so far away, I can't see it. Yeah, why is that with banks? Why, why do banks always have high ceilings? That's kind of wild, right? I got an uncovered umbrella. We got out here. Nothing much, nothing much. Oh. This is just one of many desks for signing important documents, it seems. Uh, each desk even has its own lamp. Well, this pen writes like a dream. I could deal with one of these in the office of the yard. No chairs. So the people have a uh, work on, on their feet like dogs. Yeah, honestly. It, it's awful. Here should be more accessibly ready, ready for that kind of situation. Alright, what's with your attitude, girl? Hello, I understand that you're the general manager of the bank? That's right, love. And who are you? Coming in here with your dirty dog. We're not open to the public yet. I'm sorry? Gosh, have we done something to offend? No, oh, sorry, madam. Uh, she's not a member of the public. This is a detective who will be investigating the case for you. Detective? This little girl. Are you sure she's up to the task? This is a very complicated case, you know. I do understand, madam. But I assure you, Miss Layton, I uh, is a uh, highly accomplished in your field. Well, let's hope so, as I demand perfection. Any slip-ups, and I'll have to ask you to drop it. Please, rest assured, I'll solve the case for you perfectly. Of course, I'll need you to give me as many details as you can first. Would that be all right? Hmm. Yes, I suppose so, Miss Layton, was it? Yes, Katria Layton of the Layton Detective Agency, and my assistant here is Ernest uh, Greaves. Hello, I'm Bianca Teller. As you already know, Miss Layton, I'm the general manager of the Layman's Reserve Bank. Oh, please call me Catriel. No, I'd rather not. First names could be a source of confusion. Using people's full names is the perfect solution. This husky is a real fawn, uh, barrel of laughs, isn't she? Mm, well then, perhaps you could explain exactly what the problem is. It's a sensitive matter to be treated with complete discretion. Do you understand? The secrets are safe with me, as safe as this bank's fault. Are you being sarcastic? No, I... I wasn't meaning to be. Is there some problem with the bank's fault then? Yes, I pride myself on my perfect security measures here, but we've been in the victims of grand larceny. 
I say, someone robbed the bank? How much was taken? 100 milling, a sterling in notes. Hmm, I see. 100 million. What? 100 million? That's right, everybody. It's K6. An unexpected windfall. That's, that is oddly enough a pun about money. Because if you get a lot of money, it would be considered a windfall of money. Or cash. I don't know why I know that. Did she say 100 million, Cheryl? I, I don't think I have heard her correctly. How much is 100 million? How many bags of dog biscuits would that buy? That would buy you all the dog biscuit manufacturers in the world, Cheryl. Really? And I, I, I don't think I could eat all of them. Are you talking to your dog? You do realize the gravity of the situation. Don't you? It could undermine the whole bank. Trust me to get labored with a detective who talks to you. Or works for you. Especially Bianca. Oh, Miss Sloans. I wasn't expecting you, sir. But, yeah, it's my bank that's been involved in it. Don't uh, want us uh, breathing down your neck, is that it? No, no, of course not, sir. Hmm, well, you clearly aren't taken with my choice of detective, that's for sure, and certain. Oh, no, sir. I'm sure you've chosen perfectly. I'll cooperate with Miss Layton in any way I can. Glad to hear it, lass. Because she'll be handling this investigation alongside the good gentleman from Scotland Yard. Oh yes, of course, sir. I'm... I'm sure they'll get to the bottom of it. Were his boots that shiny when he walked in here? Has someone been looking at him? Ugh. Well, at least it means she'll stop treating Miss Layton like a schoolgirl. Okay, but let's actually... I didn't think the aspect of her treating me like a schoolgirl, you feel me? If you'll excuse me then, Miss Lickton. Now that Mr. Sloane's is here, I must be going, getting on. Oh, sorry. I hope we haven't kept you. That the batch manager had to be taken into the hospital, you see. Gosh, people sustain injuries in the incident. Though the doctors say it's not too serious. But he hasn't regained consciousness yet. So I'm having to fill him in, uh, for the moment. I see. Well, you're obviously very busy. Excuse me then, sir. I'll get on. But we haven't properly been introduced yet, have we? I'm Grant Sloats, owner of this bank. And a few business, actually. Uh, this is one of them. I also like to box in my spare time. The manager Blake who told me about you. So, when I spoke to Inspector Hastings, I made sure he understood I wanted you in the case. Well, that's very kind of you, Mrs. Lowndes. I'll do my best to live up to your expectations. Well, they're great ones. He certainly looks the part, doesn't he? He's a giant. He really packs a punch. I'll punch you if he hears you. It's pinch stripes. Uh, what's that, lad? Uh, um, no, I mean nothing. <laughs> I believe I've seen you before, Mr. Sloanes. At the premiere of No Sub for Love, wasn't it? At the Sovelani. Oh, yes, that's right. You sold that one as well, if I'm not mistaken. Does that mean you're one of the so called Seven Dragons? Oh, well, it's not a title I chose for myself. But yes, people do call me that. Anyway, enough chat. Let's get down to business. Are the hunts nearby? Yes, of course. Miss Teller informs us uh, you've had a break-in. That's an understatement. 100 million quids? Hardly a break-in. Anyway, 
break in, burglary, grand larceny, whatever you want to call it, it needs sorting and fast. The first thing's first. Let's show our young detective here the vault where the money was in, was in Inspector. Right you are, Mr. Sloans. I've already got the lads from the yard investigation down there. It's in the basement, of course. I'll explain more once we're down there. The basement? What, what are people doing down in the basement? <laughs> so this is where the incident took place. That's the master vault of uh, Layman's uh, Reserve Bank. 100 million quid in cash went missing from inside there. I say, it's enormous! That's not a vault, that's a room! It was discovered uh, missing earlier this morning. Looks like a classic case of grand larceny. So we've got to catch the crook who did it and get the dough back as quickly as possible, Cut. You say people from Scotland Yard are already investigating the vault, Inspector? Have you found any evidence that might suggest we who did this? Not a flaming sausage. It would have taken a pro to crack this safe, that's for sure. Even pros leave a trail, usually. Uh, not this time. Hmm, that is strange. I'll need to ask some questions. Just before you do, love. Yes, Mr. Slans? I think I'll like to see this great mind of yours in action first. Let's see if you can solve this brain teaser. Not that I doubt your abilities, don't worry. Heard nothing but good things about you. I never deal with anyone until I've seen them roll out their sleeves and get their hands dirty with the, uh, my own eyes. Plus, it's part of the game mechanics. That Sloan sure does know how to puzzle. Password ABC. Now that, uh, what was the password to the safe? It's six letters long and uses the letters A, B, and C. Use the pointers on the memo to figure out the correct password and open the safe. The same letter is repeated twice uh, in a row in different places. The same letter never appears three times or more in a row. Okay. The letters A and C appear with the same frequency. There's less of the frequency of B. After a C, there is always an A. So... After C, there's always an A, so B, maybe it's like this. A, C, A, C, B, A, C, B. The same letter never appears three times or more in a row. Three times or more in a row. The same letter is repeated twice in a row in two different places. But there's only six here. We can only get so many of them. Appear with the same frequency. Is less than the frequency of the letter B. So, I'm inclined to think it's something like this. Oh no, it couldn't be. The letters A and C appear with the same frequency, which is less than that. After a C, there's always an A. So it's actually A. Hmm. We could do it like this. But then we have too many C's and A's and not enough frequency for B. So B has to at least be this. But C and A have the have the same frequency of appearances. So that's that's the tricky part. After a C, there's always an A. We have a C and then there's an A. The letters A and C appear the same frequency. They are the same amount of frequency. The same letter never appears three times or more in a row. So that... How does... How do you have it to where... Like, you can't.
I guess it would be something like this and then a C. Letters A and C appear with the same frequency, so you need the same amount. So that's what's getting me confused by this. The same letter is repeated twice in a row in two different places. Okay, I'm gonna have to use a hint because it's a little confusing in terms of what they mean by frequency. Look at the hint. The letters A and C appear at the same frequency, which is less than the frequency of B. Use this to work out the possible number of times each letter could appear. Hmm. Because this is what I could guess happens. It's a, a B, C, A, B, B, C. But then we don't have the same frequency of A and C. That's my problem. So I have to ask, what could it be? Because B would have to, like, be more. So what if we do A... And C A B B No, because that's three. They go B A C A B B Back up. After a C there's always an A. So that means that we need to have an A. We kinda have to have an A. So what if we did it like this? A, then B, then C, then A, then B, then B. That's a little better? But it's still confusing. The frequency of the letters could be as follows. A is zero, B is six, C is zero. A is 1, B is 4, C is 1. Um... I only have so many! You can either have 6 Bs, 4 Bs. Think about having four bees? What if what if we did this? That would make a bit of sense, right? After a C, there is always an A, so that shows up. Um the same letter never appears three times or more in a row. This puts it up. The same letter is repeated twice in a row in two different places. Uh Yeah, repeated twice in the same. So that should be it then. I've seen how to solve this sure? now. Yes. That's how it's done. It was confusing in the way they worded it. I did not like that frequency bit. You did it. The light shines brightly and the safe opens. What could be inside? Well, for you Pulp Fiction fans, there's a lot of theories to that of what it could be inside. Could it be his soul? Could it be nothing? Could it just be, um, money? My bet is the soul thing because it makes Pulp Fiction so much more interesting in that regard. But, uh, Pulp Fiction is also kind of a mess of a story. Like, not in the sense that, like, it's not a well, like, it's a well-told story, but, like, the actual plot of it is kind of, like, not that good comparatively. Like, the basic premise plot isn't good, but, like, the way it's delivered through its storytelling and everything, really good! It's kind of insane. <laughs> well, Mr. Schlons, I hope that's instilled some confidence in you about my abilities. Ugh. Oh, golly, what's wrong? He's... he's just glaring at us. 
Miss Lighton. I don't understand. She solved the puzzle. Why is he looking so fierce? Rocket stuff, love? That's just what I was expecting. Even better. Oh, I... I think that was his please look. Well, mom made it, uh, never to look when he's upset. Thank you. So, will you tell us the details of the case now? Of course. Gladly. The mystery of the missing hundred million. It's up to you to solve it, now. Huh? I'll do my very best to confide this mystery to history, Mr. Schlounz. Hmm. Hmm. And with that, next time, y'all, we'll be figuring out what's uh, happening in the basement. Till then, thank you all for watching. Sayonara. Bye-bye.